Hey everyone, Saturday update, March Madness continues. Purdue Boilermakers go down to a 16 seed. I kind of alluded to in my free play video yesterday, and anybody's been following me on Twitter, I'll tell you, Purdue is the worst number one seed I'd ever seen. But yesterday I go, you going to lay 23 with him? Wow. Fairly Dickinson. Wow. Arizona the day before, wow. And to add a little salt in the wound, on a 2-2 two two Friday, our first losing day since the tournament started on Tuesday with the NIT stuff and the play-in games. We've been cashing every card, big six unit on Thursday, Memphis. It's going to happen. It's March Madness. You're going to have one every year I'm waiting. Which one is it going to be where it's just the buzzer beater that beats you? And that was the one that beat us with FAU last night. Memphis should have won that game going away. But is what it is. It's March Madness. We're going to avoid some landmines today. Got a four-unit card, four-unit play on there, and then three three-unit plays, three sides in a total, and we're going to sweep. And a heads up, my small conference guru, Tim Fines, has told me he's uncorking a biggie tomorrow on the CBI tourney. And nobody knows these small conferences. I don't think I need to tell you about the prowess we had there all season long. Got one in the CBI tomorrow, going to uncork one. But let's get today 4-0 and then move on to tomorrow and strategically strike the books. Now, will there be some surprises on Saturday and Sunday? There'll be at least one somewhere. There may be some eyebrowsing wins by a lot more than what the spread is indicating too. And I might be on a couple of those today. But that being said... Get over to Docs, free 60 bucks, link in the description below. You've never been a member. We'll park $60 in your account. You can use it anywhere on the website. Don't like me, that's okay. Don't, there's 11 other guys over there. A lot of them are on big rolls, big top plays. Come on. Let's get it done. We're here to make money. Um, let's talk about the Arkansas-Kansas game. Kansas laying three, three and a half. I'd, I'd give a lean on KU. Now, I don't know if Bill Self is going to be coaching on the sidelines or not. That, that's a closely guarded secret. Um, but I know one thing about Kansas. I've been capping the Big 12. I started this company in Lincoln, Nebraska in 1992. Lived there for 26 years before I moved to Kansas City for 10 years and out in Vegas here last five. But passionate about the Big 12, especially passionate about it when my beloved alumni Nebraska Cornhuskers were in it, which they should have never left. But Kansas in big big ball games, you don't want to fade them. Not here. Do I think Kansas defends their national title in the Final Four? Probably not. They lost 75% of their scoring from last year's national title team, and they won the Big 12 regular season title. Losing that much. That's because, speaking of Nebraska, they're like Nebraska football back in the early to mid to late 90s. Lose everybody, win a national title, turn around, reload, and you're right up there again. Talent galore. Arkansas can't trust them offensively. They're too inconsistent. Kansas got a bunch of guys that have been here and done it already. Not intimidated. Big 12 stronger than the SEC. I'd, I'd lean KU there. Just not telling you to put the farm on it. I'm not telling you to unload grandma's bonds. It's a lean. I think Kansas is experienced and quite frankly, the talent level is much more Deeper than what Arky's got on the table. FYI. Okay. Um, also, um, let's go ahead and pull it up. We've been winning with these totals plays we're giving you. Northwestern UCLA over 126 and a half. I like it. Your official free play. Um, Boise State's got a good defense. Northwestern lit them up for 75 
UCLA, Asheville, hung 86 on them. Opening round. I think the offenses are going to click here more so than the defenses. Both defenses are pretty good, but I think 126 is too low. And that's your official free play. Yeah, you might want to take a small look at Maryland tonight. Brandon Miller's a mess for Alabama. Without him, they don't go anywhere. I think I think Maryland might cover that. Small lean, again, the sitting the three team, you know, parlay where we're unloading a dime. But just three games I thought you might want to sniff around on on your March Madness Saturday. Good luck back at you on Sunday.